five points off the Sam Ipper, who have been finding their WSL groove at such an important stage of the season. Six straight wins. And they hammered another nail into Arsenal's hopes of at least being in the title race at the weekend. And now they're gunning for more. A team on an absolute roll. They haven't dropped any points since November against United at LSV in the league. Manchester United, their second, three points off the top, have beaten for just a second time this campaign in the Women's Super League. At home to Reading on Sunday, they were aided by Chelsea's slip up to Brighton too. That further damage wasn't done, but with Chelsea beating Arsenal this midweek, they know what they need to do tonight if they are to be thought of as serious contenders to Chelsea's crown. <laughs> There's been so much talk in the build-up to this one, an occasion which sees City face United with so much at stake. And the first derby to be played here at the Academy Stadium. You may remember the very first top-flight meeting between the two was played across the road from here in front of 35,000 at the Etihad. Manchester City's win at Arsenal was so good that Gareth Taylor has kept the same starting 11. Lauren Hemp's match winner means she's been involved in a, a goal in each of their WSL games in 2021. Ellen White became the league's all-time top scorer with the opener against the Gunners, a scorer against United in the FA Cup last season. It's Abby Del Kemper's first to uh, taste of a Manchester derby alongside Steph Horton at the back. Casey Stoney hasn't totally changed things after their weekend disappointment. Jackie Gronan does return for Kirsty Hansen. Hansen, who scored United's equaliser in the first meeting at LSV earlier this campaign. Big game score for big players. Ella Toon has proved that this season. A Lioness call-up this week. United's top scorer with six goals. A former Manchester City player. Well, there's no Sam Mears. Tonight, there was uncertainty. Gareth Taylor was saying if she would make the squad tonight, not to be. And one of Manchester City's dangerous weapons, Chloe Kelly, and assist Queen. The two goals for Manchester City set up by her on Sunday, Ella Toon, scoring goals for fun this season. Before we get underway, players taking the knee against social injustice discrimination. <laughs> We're off and running for a Friday night under the lights. City against United. Third against second in the WSL. Both with the chance to keep the heat on Chelsea at the top in what is turning into a fascinating title race six straight wins behind Manchester City in the league October at Chelsea their one and only loss this season at the WSL is Alex Greenwood who was a former Manchester United captain when they reformed led them to Championship glory, promotion before a season in France, which brought every success in terms of domestic and on the European front. It's Alexoun. It's in the throw, which Maria from his daughter is to take. A recent acquisition at Manchester United from Chelsea. This chance for Manchester City to try and get themselves out of a tight spot up towards Kelly. United on the hunt for a response after losing to Reading on Sunday. They haven't lost back-to-back -back WSL games, by the way, since their first two games in the WSL. Go back to last season when they lost to the Etihad to City on the opening weekend, and then they lost to Arsenal. Oh, Mary Epps. Which serves right was in sensational form against Arsenal on that occasion. 
strap yourselves in. This is anything like the first meeting. They should be in for a classic. They finish 2-2, United back from two down to clinch a point. The build-up for Lee could be a game and a showpiece the fitting of the occasion. Kira Walsh for Manchester City. Long for the pace of Chloe Kelly. And she will get there first ahead of Onabadja. Has punished them well. Hayley Ladd back for herbs. It didn't seem completely comfortable with the ball being played back to her, but anyway, we'll do. United coming into this. Three points off Chelsea. The hope of a free kick. Coming from our referee tonight, who is Abigail Byrne. Horton. First taste of what it is like to play in the Manchester Derby for Abidal Kampa. This uh, fellow American who had a real say on proceedings in the first game between these two back at LSV and Tobin Heath with a thunderous goal to bring United back into the game. Lee Roebuck back with the ball at a feed again, who has just put pen to paper on a brand new deal at the club. Another three years. And she says, as a club, Manchester City can achieve whatever they want. But the field is certainly their oyster. There is Horton. Horton has played more games at the WSL than Steph Horton. Del Kemper, the pressure from a fellow international teammate, that is Kristen Press. Both of her goals to the WSL have come away from her in this season. West Ham United and Everton. Bailey Turner. Straight one from a player who is red through and through, that is Katie Zellan. Position goes on Abadji's way. And lay a goal to first chance to really get a hold of the ball. There's uh, a zip about things. Five minutes gone. High intensity between two teams. Uh, hoping to be the top team. Much Chelsea away from backing up. The crown last season. Hayley Ladd winning it back well, what she does. The bronze can take over now for City. Speaking recently about how she said she was dying to play in a Manchester derby when she was last at the club. Watching on when she was uh, in Lyon at last season. Able to be a part of a Manchester derby. There is Ella too. Mentioned at the start. Big games. And for big time players. Ella Toon has certainly shown that this season. A match winning goal against Arsenal. for Manchester, well, for both of these teams, in fact, with a chance of the weekend slipping up, a 33-game beaten run of the WSL coming to an end. I don't think many saw Brighton going to Kings Meadow and winning on the cards. It worked in City's favour, getting the job done against Arsenal, and Atlantic losing at home to Reading, which is 
Always a possibility, how dangerous Reading can be. Chelsea getting the job done this midweek against Arsenal. Cronin with the switch of play. Recently called up to the Dutch squad for the upcoming international break. As many as nine Manchester City players will be amongst the England camp. Waterman yeah. Bronze. And two of those, Ellie Roebuck as well, and goal. And Adele Kemper. It was slotted in so well. Yeah. Delayed to a start as a, a Manchester City player, being amongst the uh, West Women's National Team camp in January, along with Sam Lewis. Millie Turner. On a bat, yep. Since he's starting tonight, just five points off the uh, top of the table. Six straight WSL wins, form team in the league. Taylor got on at the right time. Gallo Taylor was uh, talking about that. His pre-match comments as well. It's a pivotal time where they've started to pick up form despite the fact that we've really only just crossed halfway in the league. City do also have a game in hand over United as well. It's only really been cup successes for Manchester United against City. Although the uh, recent form of Gary Taylor's side Speaking beforehand, hopeful that that form can count today. Both coaches, though, spoken about how a result tonight won't define their overall campaigns. Gary Taylor still believing that there'll be plenty of twists and turns to count between now and the start of May. There's Bronze, Kelly, and Stanway. We've got that before Millie Turner. A combination of uh, Millie Turner and Amy Turner at the heart of that defense. Stronger and stronger as the season has gone on, which has been the reason why uh, former Blue, Avi Mamanis, has moved on on loan to Spurs. Just to get the minutes. The reach of.
White, no foul. Lucy Bronze. Did some uh, giant occasions. Actually in France and the rivalry between Lyon and Paris Saint-Germain. So on the biggest scene in the uh, Champions League as well, of which Manchester City has a keen eye on in the latter stages of the competition. The draw will be made next week, if memory serves right. scored that outrageous goal that the Etihad had at the very first top flight derby between these two in 2019. That's a lot better with the clearance. And it's City with it back and taking a firmer grip on proceedings now. Dal Kemper, third straight start. Hemp. I think it's Greenwood, provides the cross, but he's missed it. It's Kelly back in, and Haley Ladd towards Jackie Grun, and that's a, a nice turn under some pressure. And United can calm things down. United will certainly know about the uh, attacking threat of Alex Greenwood down the left from left back. to get Alatoon involved. Team starting out on the right. Just not for that extra a pace to the United attack out on the right flank. That's a uh, Jackie Gronin who's taken up the 10 roll. with the throw. A player who's now played for both Merseyside clubs and both Manchester clubs. And has uh, admitted as well, recent comments, she's suffered a, a fair bit of abuse on social platforms. Ellen White, who uh, is the all-time top scorer in this WSL now, taking over Miedemar's record, 55, and she is banging form with seven goals in the last eight games. It's this title race is the best ever. And it's been seen. I think Betty would argue against that. Chases on for press. Roebuck took up a good position. Came up with a, a quite incredible save, didn't she? Ali Roebuck against Manchester United at the Etihad, denying Jane Ross. That would have been the first goal of the derby. Head was blocked off. Gets the free kick. Match winning header against Arsenal for uh, Lauren Hemp. Maria Thoris Dotte has been brought in from Chelsea. Should have a 50 appearances for Emma Hayes' side. Injuries unfortunately blighting a career really at Chelsea. Here's Kelly. Watch your force to go away from goal. This is Stanway for Bronze. Chloe Kelly. Away, Maria. Away. 
Finds the cross, finds hand. Forrester did, did a bit. Elitoon, and the switch looking for Cronin. Up against Steph Horton. Cronin, that's a nice pass for Lee Galton across. And Alex Greenwood has to tidy up for Manchester City. Nobody continue to track the run of Lee Galton. Holding things up, Jackie Gronin here. And look at the burst from Galton here. In behind bronze. She couldn't fly too. In from Zellum. And headed away. First time we've really seen United get in behind City's back line. Kitty Zellum again. That'll be a City throw. Lucy Bronze with the throw. The world's best. In the women's game. She went to accolade alongside Robert Lewandowski. In the men's game. Certainly one of the uh, always kept secrets in the summer, whether she was going to be joining City or not. Greenwood. Let me turn a strong with Alan White. His hand. Haley Light covering as she's there again. That's his play of the year last year. Not a bad debut campaign. Been signed from a Birmingham City. The work that you don't see. Only lad is so good at. Walsh, was she caught by press? She was. According to Abigail Byrne, our referee tonight. Chelsea, the last team to beat them in the league. Manchester City, they last drop points. For the first derby of the season at LSV, and it finished 2 2. It's Abigail Burney took charge of the FA Cup final. Manchester City face. And West Ham at Wembley. In 2019. These players will be hard enough to join their international uh, teams. We'll be back in action until March. City and United, although there's a few rearranged games, have been uh, booked in for the end of the month as well. Some of the teams in the WSL. City corner. Well, 
Marcus Estoni talking about how they need to improve United set pieces. Something that really let them down on Sunday against Reading. They've learned their lessons. Chloe Kelly. And it comes. And Torres Dutter's header up into the dark skies above. Oh, it's been fired back in by Lucy Bronze. And City are off and running midway through the first half. And United undone by a set piece again. And a player who said she was desperate to play in a Manchester derby. Getting a chance and scoring in one. As City hit the front. Failing to clear and reacting the quickest. That's a very controlled finish from Lucy Bronze. For a second goal in the WSL this season. Casey Stoney was talking about how disappointed she was at how United conceded their goals against Reading. Set pieces in particular, and I'm done again. And Lucy Brown's the one to profit. She caused a bit of a stir, Lucy Brown's in her. Pretty much comments really saying that Manchester is blue and always has been. And to uh, maintain that here tonight as Torres Dotto is giving away the free kick. Greenwood. It's a race to keep this in. The first goal in a derby. Oh, it's important. Manchester City has got the first goal in the uh, previous league encounter at LSV. Remember they went two up before United came back. Inspired second half performance. Greenwood. Hemp. Maybe turn up. The clearance away. wasn't good enough when she was at Doncaster. So she nearly gave up the game, Amy Turner. It's a United game as she's come on so strongly is as uh, cross as meant to be from Georgia Stanway. One of the last home game here against West Ham, Georgia Stanway. Celebrated a, a milestone occasion, a 50th appearance with a goal in the Champions League against Gothenburg in Sweden. Scoring both of those legs actually. She came off the bench in the second leg to score twice. And City in front of the score sheet. 
a grip on the game as well. Here's Hilly Lads. And she's going to get a yellow card here, surely. Completely robbed by Georgia Stanway. That's what you call a tactical foul. which uh, won't put off the likes of Horton or Alex Greenwood. Been successful from a corner tonight. The eighth time this season they've scored from a corner. Being able to profit here. Horton or Greenwood, take your pick. It's to be Greenwood, and the wall does its job. Greenwood's there again. The wall in the way again. Driven period now. United are right up against it. Bronze with the throw. Alan White finding Stanway. Weir. The hand. It's going to be a fascinating battle. Lauren Hamp against Maria Thoris tonight. Quickly done by Zenon and then quickly by Batia for press. And here come United on the counter. Kristen Press. Not much going on to her right. It's a point where Alatoon had made the move right through the heart of City. And found budget that's it coming back from an offside position no and city regain it control it and calm things down Up here. A huge statement by Manchester United if they were to get a victory here tonight, considering their overall record against the regular top three of City, Arsenal, and Chelsea. Took a point of Chelsea at the start of the season at home, beaten at Kings Meadow not so long ago. Only victory in a league campaign coming against Arsenal. Earlier this season at LSV. Had got the first ten games of the season without defeat before their loss at Chelsea. Katie Zellum. part of the Manchester United Centre of Excellence before moving on after there is no first team if you like on the horizon at that time sorry start here Nervy start to this one from the Norwegian. As much of last season, she uh, suffered a, a fractured ankle. Tunis kept that in for press. On quickly for Ella Toon. It's a little high from Greenwood, and she gets the free kick to Ella Toon. High from Greenwood. Yeah, 
teammate on another. On the team who had a, a time of it here at Manchester City. And another originally through the, the United Academy. Tilsley's own. She makes her way as part of a long, long line on the edge of that 18 yard box. She's be drifted in. Galton arriving. It was bronze as well. Press. And that's Hayley Ladd. He wasn't that far away. Chloe Kelly's best clearances. And the lad on the spin. To get her effort away quickly. Plenty of sky blue shirts in front of her too to go beyond. This WSL goal for the club came in that victory of Reading end of last year. Issues again, Haley lads. Keeping things moving. Zellen, Thoris Dotted, now two, Katie Zellen, clumsy from White, Again, it's over the head of Amy Turner. She scored in the WSL. We were hoping for a flag here. They might have had a case. Had that come to something more for United? Score a couple of goals in their uh, championship the winning campaign. Tough as anything, Amy Turner. Sheffield through and through. Press. Well, with Del Kemper back in the uh, women's national team squad for the She Believes Cup coming up. Spent time amongst their January camp. Stings ball in towards press. There's a touch on. It's a skipper again. Stanway under pressure from Zellen. The press is high from United. Dal Kemper for Caroline Weir. Instead of a goal at the Etihad, just keep it below the bar. <laughs> How well she caught it. How well she caught it. Got behind. Sort of started the uh, waves of attack from City, has to be said. This is a Manchester City side who scored 44 goals now in the league. 
Cambridge scoring over four goals a game at home this season in the WSL. So another game that they have scored only once they failed to score here this season in the league, and that was against Brighton, the start of the campaign. And a goalless draw, and you, you look at the statistics of that game, by the way, and you wonder how on earth it was 0-0. Twenty-five goals and big score by City across the last five home games coming into tonight. Well, they can't tell her why quiet. Have United. Took a goal exquisitely against Arsenal. And the wide to former gunner. There's a seven points clear of Arsenal. In the title race. Lad. Good to try and play the way out from the back United here. Where? It's Wolves White. And she's there again. And Herbst keeps her out. The acrobatics from Ellen White. Big denied by Mary Herbst. It's 10 years to the day. This is when really scored that outrageous overhead kick in the Manchester Derby. And the White very nearly coming up with one of her own there. Greenwood, too long for anyone. To her hair, and that's a good ball by Amy Turner taking it first time. Similar to what she did at Arsenal at the weekend. Perhaps equal to it. Second time around. Yeah. Hempston well, where Stanway, oh, Leah Galton has just pulled up. The City come forward now through Kelly. Sorry, Stotter and Lauren Hemp going for it. There's Hemp again. And it's wide. It will be a corner. And how much damage has there been done to uh, Leah Galton and the build up to that? Conversations go on, but for Leah Galton, this would be a, a huge blow for Casey Stoney if Galton has picked up an injury enough to see her out of this one. Some talk of Leah Galton in terms of the Lionesses and the call up that would come for her. Believing that uh, for this season was deserving of a call up. Jackie. Just watching here, she goes in towards Stanway and pulls up straight away. Yeah. Wide options with Sigsworth on the bench, Kesty Hansen as well. Some real direct pace and power about Leigh Galton. This is how the goal came about for Lucy Bronze. A 
making sure of her chance. A previous goal came in a, an 8 1 thumping against Bristol City here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's This doesn't look good. Does not look good at all. Galton helped to the sidelines. We've got a quarter to defend as well, so a change is going to be coming just before half time. This is not what United need. Well, Kirsty Hansen. This will be the one. Called upon. We're going to be able to make this change before the corner. <laughs> Corner to defend anyway here for United. It's drifted in and helps Heather. And hopeful that they are meant to be undone by a corner again. Stanway. So close to half time now. Porter. For Bronx. Kelly. There's been some signing. So she came in from Everton in the summer. Chloe Kelly. Greenwood. Wide for hemp. Harris Dutter doing her job. Greenwood grown in that first, right in the face. And now the change can be made. So Kirsty Hansen. Once she comes. <laughs> so the same play that United scored that second goal against City in the previous game, which Hansen profited from. Two additional minutes. Grennan did well under pressure from Walsh. Because they've not been able to get press involved. Any of the front three, really. As the half has gone on. Right. Well, one back by press. Now Cronin and Kirsty Hansen involved. She's kept it low. And it won't fall for anybody in the red shirt. And City scramble it away. It's how quick United can spring into life. It's that quick transition that Casey Stoney was talking about pre-match. Zellen. Sorry, Stotte. And that'll be that for the first half of a Manchester derby, which has been pulsating.
but it's Manchester City that lead at halftime thanks to Lucy Bronze's second WSL goal of the campaign. And done by another set piece, Manchester United. The eighth goal that City has scored from a corner in this campaign. And the White's gone close as well, but Marriott's denying her acrobatically. Not been too much to write home about about United going forward. Hayley Ladd with their best chance. But at half time at the Academy Stadium, it is Manchester City 1, Manchester United 0. No.